work in the film industry. We're shooting a documentary um, out in outside of Beaver, Utah. Okay. And so uh, that was shot, you know, maybe a couple miles outside of Beaver, and uh, Beaver's like two hours north, of, an hour and a half, maybe two hours north of the Nevada border, and we're just like, you know, me and our drone operator. Basically, what we do is we go out and just find epic landscapes to use as B-roll in the film. And so we uh, put up the drone, you know, got some pretty great shots. We're probably like four or 500 feet away from the drone. Don't hear, don't see anything. Go back to our hotel room that night, uh, go to dinner. Our drone operator kind of starts scrubbing through the footage. We like just go through the footage every night just to make sure that, everything turns out okay and he comes he comes up to up to us at dinner and his face is just like totally white he's like mm-hmm. guys i don't know what what i just saw but like we <laughs> captured some crazy shit out there and uh you know go and go up into his room and go onto the hard drive on and he shows us the clip and it's just like you know we're shooting 60 frames a second try to slow it down as much as possible literally like frame by frame by frame yeah. there was no way that he had like messed around with the footage at all okay i was gonna ask was, i was gonna ask yeah because it was it was on the raw it was on the raw clip and this was in 2016 so this was a few years ago and um uh, like literally we're standing in the field, like four or 500 feet away from this drone and don't hear anything. Don't see anything like something traveling that fast would make a sonic boom. When we first saw it, we like broke every single second of that clip down. And if you zoom in right at the beginning of that clip, you can see this thing comes down over the ma- through the valley and then in the valley and then it turns and it turns and it comes straight. So something traveling that fast turning at that speed yeah. that low hmm. is just insane. Yeah. Like we looked on Google Maps and the the mountain range where it comes where it, you first see it was three and a half miles away from where we were. And the drone gets from the mountain range and it passes through screen in a second. And so you do that math, it's traveling three and a half miles in a second. Like nothing travels that fast that we have. Like you see the shit all over like CNN about the fighter jets seeing, yep. you know, these halo shapes. It's rotating. And honestly, it looks very similar shape to that, but that's like, that, you can't see, you know, that's like not, you can't really tell in that, in that footage that they released, like, cause it's, you know, this is very clear. This is probably like the highest quality shit that's out there. Yeah. And to be totally honest with you, the reason we really didn't like want to get it, push it out there or do anything with it was because there's a certain like paranoia level for me personally that I'm a little scared about, you know, like in terms of like maybe we caught something on camera that we really shouldn't have, you know what I mean? Um, and that gets me a little bit worried, but I'm kind of at the point where it's like, you know, it's not like I'm out there promoting this and I've just shown, I've shown a bunch of people, shown my friends, shown my family, shown friends of friends, and everybody has the same reaction when they see it, you know, it, which is, which is crazy. So like, I, you know, if, if that means like other people should see it too, then I'm okay with that, you know?